On November 10, 2014, I was in a house explosion that burned 45% of my body. I was 16 years old. The majority was second and third degree burns, and I had passed out because of the explosion, and my dog actually woke me up barking. I spent 38 days in Shriners Hospitals for children, and after that, I spent a year in recovery. I am a more compassionate and stronger person being a burn survivor because I'm able to see people who were just like me, and I'm able to show them that I care about them too because I know what it's like to go through something that's traumatic that there is light at the end of the tunnel. I'm proud of my scars because my scars tell a story about myself and they're beautiful for that. I'm an author, advocate, and activist. And I'm able to help other people know that they too can get through anything. I've learned that scars are just part of your body and you shouldn't let other people judge you because of that because they don't know what you've been through. They don't know how long it took for you to get to where you are. Everything is temporary, especially challenges. I just like to tell people that you can get through it no matter what, as long as you keep your heart in it, keep your mind in it. I'm able to live a more meaningful life through my challenges because I've been able to write a couple of books, Beautiful Scars and Digger the Hero Dog, and those two have really made a huge impact on my life because I'm able to tell children and young adults that you can get through it no matter what, and that's what my whole message is. My family and I started the Kylie Speck Foundation, and to date we've raised over $300,000. We donate all the money that we've received to Shriners Hospitals for Children in Cincinnati to help other children like me who are going through a tough situation and need the care from Shriners in Cincinnati. I'm able to show them that after all of this, something good can come from it, and I think that just showing them my scars really helps them because they don't know what they're gonna look like afterwards and I think that showing them makes them realize that it is actually going to be okay.